Hey everyone, this is Stacey Wallace here live at our ELN Marketing Hangout and I've got two of the coolest, smartest guys that you will ever meet in Solave. Um, two guys that I absolutely respect and love tremendously. And uh, they are going to be sharing with you as we have talked about on our posts coming up uh, about this hangout. They are going to be talking about how you can absolutely increase your uh, retention rate within Solave magnanimously by the tips that we are about to share with you. Now I encourage you to get pen and paper out. You're going to want to jot this down or else have another computer that you can take notes on because you will be wowed by the content here. Meaty, meaty, meaty. These guys have both been very instrumental parts of the social commerce university that we've done around the United States. And uh, they have just been some of the best speakers that people afterwards just say, wow, I mean, I had no idea that information would be so potent, and it really has been. So first, let me introduce to you, uh, many of you already know Jeremy, uh, leader, him and his wife are uh, social connectors with Solove. They are in the middle of moving right now to a new home. Thanks, Solave. <laughs> They've got boxes all around them. But Jeremy, I really thank you for taking time because this is a topic that I know is very important, and uh, this recording is going to be important going forward. So everyone, please welcome uh, our host for the day, Jeremy Wells. Hey, everybody. Awesome. And uh, coming up here in just a minute, we're going to have with us Ryan Floyd, who is uh, he and Bree are incredible leaders within Solave. I had some. A wonderful time with you guys on the Thousand Air Cruise where we got to spend uh, great dinners together. Uh, but Ryan, I was blown away at your correlation between the phone world that we live in with Solave and Solave Marketplace and choosing the right phones, the right setting, the right coverage, and how it relates. You're a fireman, a paramedic, you deal in life and death situations all the time. And today we're looking forward to how that correlates. I think you guys are going to see. Uh, Ryan is uh, bringing a lot to the table. By the way, I loved your post about you saving money for all the guys at Subway uh, through Solave Marketplace. That was pretty cool. Why don't you tell us what Solave's done for you, and um, then we'll bring you in here in just a minute to tell your story. Sure. So uh, basically, we heard about Solave, you know, over a year ago, and initially when I looked at it, it was just a way to save money. As a firefighter paramedic, my wife stays home and homeschools our three kids. We really watch our budget, and every penny really goes a long way in our house. And so when I saw Solave, I said, I can finally get rid of that cell phone bill because it was always in our budget, you know, car insurance, food, gas, all those things. And there's always cell phone. It was never going away. And I said, here's my ticket to get rid of that off of our bill to finally free up some, some other income. And so that's what we did within, you know, about two weeks. I had uh, referred enough other people that our cell phone bill was gone, you know, and it was a... Just that alone, I mean, that's twelve hundred dollars a month that, or a year, excuse me, that we now save. And then I said, well, let's just keep going, man. If I could earn some extra money and not have to work extra shifts and be home more with the family, let's do it. And so that's exactly what we did. And and you know, becoming a thousandaire really has impacted our family more than uh, I, I I could uh, you know explain. And and we're just so grateful for Solave. We're so thankful. Um, for what it's done for our family financially, and we just, we're, we're, you know, we love to help other people uh, get that financial freedom as well. So glad to be here. Well, we're glad that you're here as well, Jeremy. I have got the slide deck up here so that you guys can run through it. First off, I want to say thank you for you guys being willing to come and just continually offer free training for our people. Uh, you guys, the Empowered Living Network is here for you. It's your tool. 100% free training to help you build a massive network uh, in what's working. Uh, these guys are not hypesters. They're not going to tell you what they think works. These are tips and tools that are going to help you build your business. So, Jeremy, I'm going to give it to you. You can take it away. Thank you, Stacy. I, uh, I think your picture's cut off on my end. I don't know if that's the same way for everybody. But, uh, one, thank you for having me on. Uh, two, thank you for making me have to do it on video. I very much appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this, all of this information, you know, started six, eight months ago. Um, it's a learning process. You know, nobody came into Solave being a, a cell phone expert. I certainly was not. I was the guy that, you know, took my phone to AT&T. 
Uh, I made them switch out my contacts for me with the SIM cards when I switched to a new phone. I thought I was getting a great deal, you know, uh, with a free upgrade or a cheap upgrade every two years, not realizing that you're you're just financing the cost of that phone over the two years anyway. And at the end of your two-year contract, if you don't trade your phone in, uh, you're basically just giving them extra money every month because they certainly don't reduce your bill. And so we tried to figure out when we joined Solovey, uh, it was the same reasons that Ryan did. It was potentially, and Laura and I actually had this conversation, it was to, wouldn't it be great if we could get one or two of our phone bills for free? Uh, and that's all it started as, you know, so maybe we could share it with a few people, assign both my teenagers up who use a lot of data. Uh, and my AT&T bill was never the same every month just because uh, of my actual 14-year-old daughter who likes to text message and uh, stream music all day long. And so you just never knew what you were going to get. So when we came into Solovey, there were some things that I felt we should at least understand uh, as a basic principle and a rule of what we were going to do sharing it. Now when it all started, sure, we signed people up with any GSM phone. There's two carriers that are GSM compatible. It's AT&T and T-Mobile. Verizon and Sprint are different technologies. It's CDMA. They don't use SIM cards in their phones. And so that's the basis of understanding for where you start. Well then you delve into a little bit further and you realize that AT&T and T-Mobile are actually different from each other even though they're both GSM. And so those kind of things bore out some experiences that we all had in, in our networks and I know Ryan's seen it, I've seen it and other leaders have seen it as well where you may have made a decision to sign somebody up with an unlocked AT&T phone and then a month later or two months later they were back on AT&T. So I started to delve into it further and further and further to understand what was really going on. So all this information that both Ryan and, and Stacy and I and Laura all talk about isn't a uh, you know do as I say not as I do kind of thing. It's actually born out of real information and real stories that are out there to help everybody else understand what the best experience is. And so in this case the first thing that everybody should understand, and just so you know, we put these slides together when I did it, it was to take the technology out of it so that I've understood that, you know, we did Social Commerce University and there's a 37-minute webinar that we did that, that kind of delves way down deeper into this if you want to watch that after this to get a little bit more in depth. But the idea behind this was to keep it as simple as possible for people starting out and moving forward to help grow their Solovey network. And so the first thing I think everybody needs to understand is that we are a partner with T-Mobile. The first thing you can do, that you can tell people, that you can implement in your own world or sphere of influence is to get a T-Mobile branded phone and to recommend T-Mobile branded phones. And the reason for that is, is because the experience does matter. Yes, an AT&T phone may be compatible but it doesn't mean you're going to get the best experience. And so we'll talk in a few seconds about why that is. But let's go back one step and realize that you are never going to take your Verizon phone, if you're a Verizon customer, and walk into an AT&T store and tell AT&T to make that Verizon phone work on AT&T. The first thing that the guy behind the desk is going to say is that won't work you're going to need to get an AT&T compatible phone. And what do we do? We sign a contract, we buy the phone, they switch everything for us and we walk out the door. It's the same with every carrier. You're not going to walk into a box store and make the other carrier make your phone work. Now, when I say that, you can actually walk into an AT&T store with a T-Mobile phone and they'll give you a SIM card. And they'll tell you, we won't guarantee your service, we won't guarantee the coverage, but you can make it work. So while it may be compatible and while they may allow it, it doesn't necessarily mean that that's the best thing to do when you first start out. So carriers aren't going to support phones or guarantee service on models brought from another carrier. And so to keep it as simple as possible, that's why you want to get a T-Mobile phone and you want to recommend a T-Mobile phone. So on this next slide, Let's see if Stacy's got it. 
model number is the key for everything that you're going to do. And here's why. Somebody's going to walk up to you and they're going to say, I've got a Samsung Galaxy S4. That doesn't give you all the information you need to be able to determine what kind of experience they're going to have on our network. There are four different model numbers of the Samsung Galaxy S4 for US carriers. So you can see them here. I'm not going to read off each individual model number, but Sprint has its own model number, Verizon does, AT&T does, and T-Mobile does. The reason being is Samsung is a manufacturer of phones. The four carriers resell those manufacturers' phones with specific technology inside of them to make them work on their network correctly. And so in this case, if somebody says, I have an S4, well, great, that phone's going to work awesome. And you realize it's a Sprint S4, it's not going to have the same experience as that T-Mobile version of the phone. So, Ryan, you want to jump in a little bit on, on actually making sure that somebody's going to have the right experience with that particular model of the phone? Sure, absolutely. Like, uh, let me put it this way. When, as a paramedic, we have to give medicine, and we want to give the right medicine to the right person at the right dose at the right time. So just because I have a medicine and it says, you know, give it to somebody, I don't just randomly give it whenever, however, whenever. We want to make sure. We, we call it the six rights. If anyone's a nurse or a doctor or anything in medicine, we call it the six rights of uh, medication administration. I want to check that it's the right medication, it's the right route, you know, there, you can give somebody a shot or they can swallow a pill. There's different routes that it can enter into our body. Um, the right time, I don't want to give it right, you know, sometimes you have to take a medicine before you eat or after you eat or, you know what I mean? So there's a lot of factors you got to think about, absolutely, when you're giving medicine in the same way, you don't want to just say, oh yeah, S4, that phone will work, here you go, let's try to figure out, is that the SIM card? No, that's the SD card. I don't know, let's just jam it in there and maybe it will work, right? So you want to definitely... Uh, get the right phone and the right person, the right, all that stuff. Absolutely, very vital. So here's what I recommend for everybody to do to keep this as simple as possible. What you want to do is determine the model number of their phone. So when somebody says S4, or Galaxy S4, or iPhone 5, that is not the model number of their phone. That is a brand ID for that phone. That is Samsung's name of that phone. So what you want to do to find the model number is find the original box of the phone. I can assure you it's on the back of it somewhere uh, in the small print or on a uh, barcode sticker on the bottom. It's going to list the actual model number. It's most likely on the back of the phone. Uh, in the case of Samsung phones, it's underneath the battery uh, inside the back of the phone. For phones that don't have a removable battery, uh, it may be listed on the back of the phone as well. Uh, and if not, inside the operating system of every phone, there's always something under settings and about phone that will actually list the model number. So find that model number for your customer. Go to gsmarena.com. Uh, it, it's a couple of sections down on this slide. Uh, gsmarena.com actually has the specs and information for every model phone. They've got the different model numbers, which which uh, networks it supports, the SIM card size, when it was released, uh, what megapixel the camera is. I mean, it actually goes down into the independent specifications for each model. And then I want you to type in that model number in the search box up on the top right. What you're looking for is two things. One, either that it says that's the T-Mobile version of the model number, or you're looking for a section that says both 1700 and 2100. And those are the two bands of spectrum that T-Mobile supports for 3G and 4G communication. And so you need to have both of those. Make sure that they're listed in the 3G or the 4G HSPA section, not the LTE. That's a whole different section. Uh, so what you're looking for is what's on the bottom of this here. We're in that 3G network section. It lists HSDPA. And then these are all the bands that that model of phone will support. And you see it's listed both 1700 and 2100. And you need both. One of them is not enough. If only you have 1700 but no 2100, it's not going to work as well as it should for the experience across the entire country on our network. 
Yeah, and so. Jeremy, I think another thing that's important is for people to know, you know, I just went through something this weekend. A lot of the carriers, like even iPhone or, or manufacturers like iPhone 5C, 5S, they are now starting to put both 1700 and 2100, 1900 in there. Um, so it's important for you, like he said, know the model number so that you make sure you're giving them the best user experience. Now, why is iPhone doing this? Because they recognize both 1700 and 2100, they are important for you to get optimal experience. So now the carriers are starting to get smart and say, wait a minute, we want to make sure that we work across the entire uh, graph of the coverage settings of both uh, AT&T, Sprint, Verizon, T-Mobile. So make sure you look for that. And if, if you have folks that have an older phone, just remember right now the ability to resell a phone is very simple. They may be able to get 50 bucks or even on up to four or 500 bucks for their current phone and then switch it with the money they're going to save on Solave. It will be well worth the switch for the experience they will get. Yeah, and I, th I think it bears um, uh, mentioning that, that here's a trick. All, I'm not going to say all, that's a bad word. M most of the phones that are sold to T-Mobile from manufacturers support 1700, 2100, and the 1900 band, which is what AT&T uses. Right. That's not the case for AT&T. AT&T doesn't necessarily sell phones that support 1700, 2100, and right. obviously it behooves them not to do that. But you're actually setting your customer up for a better resale value of their phone by getting a T-Mobile version of the phone because they can then sell it to anybody on AT&T right. or T-Mobile and they'll have the best experience on both networks, whereas if you're bringing an AT&T phone over, it's not going to have that best experience on our network. So just to, uh, to help somebody get their mind around what's the best phone? Well, the best phone is the one that supports as many bands as possible so that when I go to sell it, I can get the most for that value as well. Uh, so before I go into the coverage map area, um, I think it's very important to bear out that every phone that's a GSM phone has an IMEI number. And that IMEI number is what the carriers recognize as that device on their network. So uh, when you go to the enrollment flow on Solave, you want to check the IMEI number, and that's uh, star pound zero six pound on the dialer. Again, star pound zero six pound. There's going to be a 15 digit number that comes up if it's a GF GSM phone, and you're going to want to check that IMEI number because Solave is going to tell you what kind of experience that phone is going to have on their network. Um, it'll tell you whether you're going to get 2G only and uh, 2G is not the greatest thing in the world. It will tell you if it's a fully compatible 3G and 4G phone if you're in an area that supports 3G and 4G. But also, if you're buying a used phone, that IMEI number is very, and very, very important. And Ryan, you want to hit on why that IMEI number is important during that process? Yeah, absolutely. So going back to you know giving someone a drug, if, if they're having a hard time breathing, I want to give them some albuterol, for example. Well. I want to make sure that that drug is still good. I always, every morning we get to the fire station, we check our drugs to make sure that they're not expired. Well, the same thing can happen with phones. Say I walk into, say a guy walks into a T-Mobile store, says, "Give me the latest iPhone 5S. I want it. I gotta have it. It's a shiny new object. I must have." Buys it. Doesn't really buy it. They just whatever. They work it out. Walks away. Two weeks later, a month later, whatever. He says, "I don't want to pay T-Mobile anymore." Well, T-Mobile's only recourse is to blacklist or basically take that phone so it cannot be used on their network. And so if you buy a phone, again, be very careful on Craigslist, that you what Jeremy's saying is you take that IMEI number, you go to T-Mobile's website, you can just search in Google, T-Mobile IMEI checker, and it will come right up there in the listings, and make sure that it's not bad on their system because any 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 MVNO or any other carrier that uses T-Mobile, if T-Mobile's blocked that phone, it won't work on any of them, which would include us. So that's definitely something you want to be very uh, cautious of and check. Yeah, and and I will just reiterate that the checker is only as up to date as T-Mobile has made their database up to date. So somebody can actually go in and make that deal, buy their phone, you know, on a financing plan, mm -hmm. stop paying for it, sell it to you. 
uh, and then turn around the next day and they can call T-Mobile and report it stolen. Yeah. And then T-Mobile is going to blacklist that IMEI off the towers and about 25 days later your phone is going to stop working altogether. Um, so again, just be careful when you're buying a used phone. Um, what I have actually seen people recommend is, especially if you're doing it on Craigslist, uh, go meet the person at a local T-Mobile store. Um, T-Mobile will actually put in the notes for the IMEI of that phone that it is not been reported stolen, it's being sold, so that if the person does turn around and do that later, at least T-Mobile knew up front what was going on and it can help you make sure that phone doesn't get blacklisted off the network altogether. So once you get to the point of the enrollment flow that you've verified you've got the right phone, you've verified that it's a good phone uh, and will work on the network, then you want to check the coverage map for your customer. And our coverage map during the enrollment flow automatically assumes that you have a fully T-Mobile compatible phone, meaning a phone that supports both 1700 and 2100. If you have a 1900 band phone only and you're using that coverage map to determine what kind of coverage somebody's going to have, it's not going to work. That dark green area is a 4G area for a 1700-2100 phone, not a 1900 band phone. So there are other ways to find um, some 1900 band towers that T-Mobile is, you know, refarming. But most of those, again, are in your major metropolitan areas. They're not in the outlying areas yet. Obviously, T-Mobile is smart, and they want to use uh, their money to upgrade towers where the most customers are located. So in that case, just make sure when you're going through the enrollment flow and you've got a AT&T or a, another phone that doesn't support 1700, 2100, you're not using our coverage map. Because here's the deal. You're going to zoom in on somebody's house, um, and that little bar on the left with the plus and the minus, you want to zoom as far in as possible because the colors actually change based upon how far you zoom in. Uh, it may look dark green when you're looking at the whole state of Texas, but when you get down into their city, it may be light green or even a service partner area, and so you want to make sure you're setting your customer up for the best experience. Here's why. We all have things that are in our mind that we associate with the best experience. When you don't have that best experience, you're going to turn around and tell people you didn't have a good experience just as much as if you turned around and told somebody, you know, I ate at the restaurant down the street and it was awesome. But that negative blast is sometimes a lot more powerful than a positive one. So if you set a customer up with the wrong phone in a place that they're not going to get great coverage and they leave Solove, they're still talking to your same circle of friends, your same sphere of influence, and telling those people they didn't have a great experience. Well, it's just going to make your job that much harder trying to explain to someone why Solovey is so great because they've already heard a negative experience from somebody they know. And so that's why I want to make sure everybody has the best experience because that positive reinforcement actually helps all of our networks grow um, in the long run. And so here's what I liken it to. If you ask an eight-year-old kid, where do you want to go this weekend? We're going to go Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and we're going to go have some fun. Do you want to go to Disney World, or do you want to go to the fair that is put up in the mall parking lot every other week down the street? I can assure you there's probably not an eight-year-old alive that's going to tell you, I want to go to that little fair at the mall. I want to go to Disney World. So... I like in Disney World to the T-Mobile phone, right? That's what's going to set your customer up for having the best experience. We're going to go play with Donald Duck and Goofy and Mickey Mouse, and we're going to have a lot of fun, and we're going to see fireworks at the end of the day, and it's great. When you get another type of phone, I'm not saying that that fair isn't fun down the street, but it doesn't liken to that same experience back to going to Disney World. That slide looks fun to me, but... I would rather go to Disney World if it were up to me. Well, and I think a good point, Jeremy, with this picture, and I'm giggling here, is it's a sustainable fun. Disney World has so much more experience to offer because it's a multi-billion dollar vision. Whereas you see the picture on the right there, that's a, that's a maybe 
million dollar vision, <laughs> maybe, maybe a few thousand dollar vision, that's the difference. If you want to experience Solove at its finest, get involved in Solove, even if it's just if you're just a mobile user, use the multi-billion dollar experience. Go all in, even if for the first month or two months, some people say, well, what about I'm in I'm in a contract with a company. I just had a, a company, 10 lines, be willing, they said, the money we will save in two months alone is going to be more then the, I believe it ended up being about $1,000 they had to pay for all of their different plans. It makes so much sense even for the end consumer. Think of the short-term pain versus the long-term savings you're going to have and the experience. Our phones are very important to us and experience really does matter. Absolutely. So for me, I think what it boils down to at the end of the day is a, what kind of customer do you want on Solove? Do you want the person who's running around with their purple phone screaming at the highest you know, possible mountaintops that they have the great experience and they want others to join them or is that the customer you want after a month and that's, <laughs> that's the look I'm telling you that's the look you're gonna get when somebody calls you after a month and says you guys sold me a 4G service and my phone's never been on anything other than 2G and of course you find out they have an AT&T phone and there's some limitations to that. So actually with regards to these two pictures I actually have a, a, a good anecdotal story here from the other day. Uh, I was actually talking to somebody who joined Solove uh, pre-launch uh, August 2012. So they've been with Solove for a year. They have uh, a growing network. They've referred 15 or 20 people uh, and they love the service they're having a great time. They actually sent me a message and said I've got somebody on a specific model of phone. They said it was a Samsung uh, S2, Galaxy S2 was all they told me. And they said I'm standing right next to my customer in their house and my Solove phone has 4G and their Galaxy S2 keeps bouncing between 2G and 4G and 2G and 3G and it, it just bounces all over the place. Uh, and they asked me is there some setting on the phone that I can change or put on the phone to make it work like my Solove phone which was a T-Mobile phone. So I asked the question. I said what's the actual model number? And they gave me the model number. I went to GSM Arena because I don't know them all and I looked it up and it's the act it's the AT&T model number for a Samsung Galaxy S2. So I had to explain to them again somebody who's been around for a year and is not as deep involved in the technology aspects which nobody has to do but I had to explain to him that you've got an AT&T phone and you, he, you've you got a T-Mobile phone, he's got an AT&T phone. They both are going to have two different sets of experiences even standing right next to each other connected to the same towers. And so a light bulb went off I think at some point for him that said I need to stop recommending that kind of a, an, an experience when I know what my experience is. And so I want to make sure people get to the point where they may be happy with their service but they need to make sure the people that they're referring Solovey to are happy with theirs and again that just causes a ripple effect out into the entire country into the entire Solovey network that there's a great experience to be had here but you gotta make sure you've got the right phones and the right coverage and the right settings so that that experience gets enjoyed by everybody. Um, let me ask Ryan real quick. Ryan, I know that we, what we're talking about here is retention, experience, really making sure that our customers are the happiest customers on the planet. We know that right now we have no contract, no activation fee, and when you have that, it means that you're not locking people in to some kind of golden handcuff contract for two years. What we're doing is we're saying we believe in our network so much. We're not going to make you sign a contract. We're going to win you over because we're that good. As it relates to being a paramedic and a firefighter, you know, I know that lifespan is important. I know that retention is important. How does that relate, you know, in your business is what you've seen and I know you go back and forth of the correlations between what you do in your job as a firefighter and a servant of, of a lot of people as it relates also to your, your Solovey business. Sure. So one of the 
uh, terms of pharmacology, we call as half-life. When I give a drug, how long is it going to be in that person's system? Let, let's take pain management, for example. Okay, say, say somebody, get in a, somebody gets in a car accident, and they, they broke their arm, they broke their leg, and, the, and the, there's pain, okay? And I'm, I'm, based on my protocol, am able to give them pain medication. Or, you know, I've had people that have fallen and broken their hip, and we can give them for comfort measures. I don't want to give just enough, right? Just a little bit. I can give fentanyl and 50 microgram dosages. I don't want to give the bare minimum 50. If I'm looking at this guy wincing and hurting, I don't want to just get by with what I give, I want to give them what I can. That's that's good. That that's going to bring them, you know. That's going to help them. And so that's the same thing I think of is we want a good half life. We want the drug to be there. We want the person to be here happy. Um, we don't, you know. I don't want to just go for something quick, but I really want the person to come in. And one of the things that I do too in terms of retention is I set them up. I make sure their phone. I walk. I walk through them. Don't just say go to my website and sign up. Let me know when it's all said and done. Walk them through it. Make sure everything is going through. I, yesterday, we walked somebody through the reporting process and made sure it went through. Followed up with them. Follow up the next day is this something I just do. You know, within their thir first 30 days, if you can make sure, hey, is, you know, their APN settings or their picture messaging, everything's good. Everything's staying good. Uh, I think your retention, you know, the quality that you get uh, will be much, much higher. Excellent. Well, you guys, I know that, um, first off, I just posted in the Facebook account that this is a must-see webinar <laughs> or hangout because what you guys have just shared, honestly, can save people not only thousands of dollars, but it will help you so much in giving people the best experience and retaining your customers. Uh, in this industry, we have such a low uh, churn rate, meaning people generally that get on mobile service, they stay with that company. I know I was on AT&T for 14 years before Solovey, and it wasn't because I had a great experience. I dropped calls all the time. Um, I had horrible connection issues, but I stayed because I didn't think there was an option. Well, today, the way you are going to get, and because I was in a contract, <laughs> the way you're going to keep people on your Solovey network is because we offer the best coverage, the best member support, and the best experience. And I know that these guys have definitely laid that out for you today. Before we go, Jeremy, what would you like to say before we go? Um, again, I just think that this bears itself out from from repeated, um, you know, feedback from within our own network, from other people's network, and and actually, uh, it's kind of funny because before this hangout, Ryan and I have never had this discussion with each other about the same things and so I think that it just it causes reinforcement that other people are experiencing the same things and are recommending the same things and I think that reinforcement is good for everybody. Excellent. Ryan, before we go. Yeah, I just say I, I totally understand if you encounter somebody that the budget is tight and they just can't buy another phone and maybe you've got a phone that's compatible. I think the big thing is just being upfront and honest that you look at a coverage map and and as long as everything is up front, look, this is what you would expect if you stick with that phone. I would encourage you to get that T-Mobile phone as soon as you can. But if you don't, let's look at the, you know, like Jeremy said, there's resources. You can find a map, see what that's like. And what we found is that people go, okay, I can't buy the T-Mobile the iPhone. I really love my iPhone 4S or whatever. I'm willing to bear it out until I'm able to get the T-Mobile version. And I know I'll be having much. And so that we have people right now who are waiting, you know, I, they're hoping this Christmas they're going to get from their spouse a new iPhone or whatever. And they, they, so it, it's worked out much better. And, and then the day, guys, don't let all these terms scare you. Um, you know, stick with star pound zero six pound. If you have to tattoo that on your arm or something, just, you know, check the phone. Because I see a lot of people say, will this Boost phone work? Will the Net 10 phone work? Will this phone work? Just check if it has an IMEI. You know, first and foremost, the very first thing you can do, and then you know, phone a friend. You know, get some, find somebody. There's a lot of helpful people, and we'll we'll help you through the process as you're learning. Because I know up front, as your first couple of people, it can be intimidating and scary. Don't let it be. Keep it simple. Go to empoweredliving.biz. There's a great great section on phones and what's recommended. Jeremy does a great job on updating that, so that's what I'd encourage you to do.
Awesome. Yeah, that's a great plug there. We've got the, if you're looking for a new phone this year, well, then make sure that you go to empoweredliving.biz forward slash phones. You, in fact, you can just click the phone tab at the top, and we've got a great list of what we believe best in class phones. Jeremy has personally bought every one of these phones and a lot more and tested those with good user experience versus great user experience worth versus like don't even go there experience. <laughs> so that's what that list is for you so that you know how to recommend to your friends and family what best phones they can get. Thank you guys so much. This was an amazing hangout. I look forward to posting this um, forward for other people to watch as well. Remember now is the time. This is the place and you are the one to start a revolution. We're believing the best for you everyone. Bye-bye.